Hi, this is PJ at Rocco's, and we're going to show you today how to make lime, okay? First of all, we're going to get a few things together. You need everything clean. Everything needs to be clean. Uh, find you a good home brewer shop and get uh, get you some supplies from home brewing. This is sanitizer. Everything's got to be clean. Wash your bottle out with sanitizer. Uh, this is some cleaning fluid, some uh, five-star PBW cleaning. So you want to clean it, you want to sanitize it, then you're ready to go with uh, adding your ingredients. So uh, uh, some of the tools are, uh, I have a wine making book, I got that at a little garage sale. And uh, you need a jar, okay, get you like a little gallo wine jar or something. And uh, you got airlock, this is an airlock from the brewer's store. It lets gas out, you fill it with a little water, it lets gas out, it doesn't let the air back in. Or you can get some fancier things like this, you know, that comes from the store, from the brew uh, store. Uh, you can use a funnel, you might want to use a funnel, and some tubing, you know, that's going to get into later when you start making larger gallons like this. Okay, so you got all your equipment, you're going to need some sugar, you're going to need some uh, yeast, and you know, I got this Red Star, I was really using some bacon uh, yeast, but you know, it's better to use the, the yeast from the supply house. So, we got all our equipment together, and then we're going to, uh, we got everything sanitized, we got it all clean, and then we're going to start making some wine, okay? So now you got your fruit. You take your wine bottle and you put your fruit in, okay? Now you fill it up to about a third. Other way, somewhere up in here, okay? <coughs> Give it a taste. You want all your fruit in, okay? Now you have your wine. You have your fruit in your bottle. And uh, we're going to add some sugar. Okay, so you take your sugar. Now we're going to put about, in this size, I would say about four cups of sugar. So we're gonna put a four cups of sugar in there, okay? Take the sugar, pour it in here like this, okay? Any kind of sugar you want. Sometimes you can add brown sugar. If you think that's gonna enhance the taste? Uh, because I use like some banana wine, and I use the brown sugar, and it came out really good. So we're gonna get a little funnel, okay? Put your funnel, add your sugar. Okay, that's this one. Of the sugar. And like I said, we're going to use about four cups in here. Maybe five if you want it really sweet. So this is uh, part of the process. You put your, your, uh, your fresh fruit, cut up some fresh fruit, make it look all nice, okay? Put your sugar in. You got, you got your sugar. Let me clean it up. You can get a, a good wine yeast from a brew shop, or you can use stuff from the grocery store, either one. But I got this from the brew shop, some kind of red star. Okay, put them just a pinch, just a pinch in your hand, you know, like a pinch of salt. Okay, that's all you need. Okay, so you take your yeast, put it in here, add your yeast. Okay, now you let that go. Okay, I want to add one or two more cups of sugar. Let's get that in. At least one or two more, yeah. I got two in there already. So this will be three. Whoa! Okay, we got three, three cups in here now. Now let's go to number two. Add the sugar. Three. Oh yeah, that looks good now. All right, and we got one more. About four pounds of sugar, almost exact. Okay. In that, takes a lot of sugar to make mine. Okay, so it's gonna take a good bit. That's going to be a sweet wine. Uh, you can adjust your recipe. This is a basic recipe. Fruit, sugar, yeast, and water. Okay? And once you get this going, you can adjust it to your liking. Like I said, if you want to try a little brown sugar in there, uh, you can make brown sugar with just some white sugar and some backstrap molasses. Just make your own brown sugar. And then you got... Uh, a little bit of brown sugar flavor in there. Okay, so we got 
do it, I'll show you what I need. The rest is going to be filled with water. Let me put a little water in here, get this going. And uh, so I'm going to fill it with water. Now you're going to want to go, you got to give it a little room to breathe. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top, but just right below. Give it some space to grow because it's definitely going to increase in volume. So I'm going to go up to about a little bit more. That should do it. There you go. Okay, now we got water. Now you got your fruit. You shove your yeast, you got some water in there. Okay, now you're gonna put a top on it. I don't have one the right size for this jug, so I'm just gonna improvise and make my own. I have a little glove, a latex glove. I'm gonna wrap that on there. Cooper wanted to use a condom, but I told him no. So we're gonna put a rubber band around it so that it can breathe. Now it's gonna breathe and the, the Glove is going to uh, increase in size and get bigger as the carbon monoxide, uh, or dioxide, I'm not sure, one of them. Anyway, this is going to uh, get bigger as the, uh, the fruit breaks down. The sugar is going to break down the fruit with the yeast. Uh, and 30 days, you're going to have one. Now, you need some kind of airlock on the top to keep fresh air from getting in there. You want to keep it tight. I just put some rubber bands on there. <coughs> and a glove. So that's going to uh, breathe on its own. And later on, I'll show you how to make a larger gallon. Larger five and six gallon tanks. Same ingredients, same thing. You want about this much fruit. You want, sometimes we're going between four and 14 pounds of sugar in five gallons, okay? Five gallon takes between four and 14 pounds. Get you a little book, and in this book, it's gonna tell you and give you some ideas. You don't have to read exactly, skip the end page, and pick up little ideas as you go. So, there's other things you can do to speed up the process a little bit, like if you make a simple syrup, take your water, heat it up, and uh, dissolve your sugar in the water, that way you can pour it in there all at once and you don't get lumps of sugar, you know. So you definitely refine your methods as you go along, okay? So, like I said, everything has to be sanitized. We've got a little squirt bottle, a little white lightning in there from grain alcohol. Keep it, uh, keep it all sanitized. And then we're going to have wine in 30 days. And you got your tools, your supplies. There's your wine. You want it in a uh, in a dark, damp place. You can cover it up. I made this five gallons. I cover it with my shirt, okay? Because you don't want it in a window, and you don't want it. Uh, you want it in a pool place. <coughs> so find a place to stick it. I'll put a shirt over it. Wrap it up like that, and just let it sit for 30 days. And the next thing you know, you're gonna have some fine drinking wine. Um, well, Kenneth said we made some banana wine and we used some brown sugar. Uh, well, Kenneth said, God bless the banana wine. You put some honey. You can also put some honey in there if you want. Add a little honey. Or you can add a little molasses. Now, the amount you use, this is about a, a 16 ounce bottle, so I used half of it in five gallons in addition to the sugar. So wine takes a lot of sugar. And as you know, you refine your methods and later on we're gonna show you some different tricks on how to make larger quantities and how to adapt your recipe. You're gonna have your own recipe. It's gonna be yours. You tweak it, you twerk it, you get it right and uh, you're gonna have your own wine. Okay, great. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see y'all later. You did that. Or some fruit. You get some fresh fruit. Is any bottle? This little bottle, or even better, drink all this wine, and then you got a wine bottle. Okay. 
Then you take your fruit. You fill the bottle about a quarter, maybe a third at the most. And then it's really simple. You take your fruit, you put it in the bottle, you get some sugar, a cup of sugar, and then a pinch of yeast. Just a pinch, you don't need much, just a pinch in there or a pinch in there, okay? And then you fill it with water the rest of the way. Then you take a balloon, stick the balloon on the top of it, 30 days, you got wine. I didn't have a balloon, so I took a, a, a glove and put it on there with a zip tie. It's really simple. So, uh... You got your balloon on there, and you got this on here, and tie it off, okay, and the wine is going to ferment, and this is going to blow up, and in 30 days, you're going to have wine. You got your basic recipe down. It's just fruit, sugar, a pinch of yeast, and the rest is water, and give it time, and in 30 days, you'll have wine. You need to clean everything real good. Get you some good sanitizer and some good cleaner. Um, find you a good brewing shop. That's important. Uh, a home brewer shop or something like that. Where you get all the right supplies. Because later you're going to want to make it in long time. This is PJ and we at Rocco's Art Gallery making wine and art. We're going to show you how to do this. And we hope you like our video and subscribe to the channel and we're gonna get the show on the road. Okay, or some fruit. You get some fresh fruit, you get a bottle of wine. That's all you need is any bottle, this little bottle, or even better, drink all this wine and then you got a wine bottle. Okay, then you take your fruit. You fill the bottle about a quarter, maybe a third at the most. And then, it's really simple. You take your fruit, you put it in the bottle, you get some sugar, a cup of sugar, and then a pinch of yeast. Just a pinch, you don't need much, just a pinch in there or a pinch in there, okay? And then you fill it with water the rest of the way. Then you take a balloon, stick the balloon on the top of it, 30 days, you got wine. I didn't have a balloon, so I took a... Uh, a glove and put it on there with a zip tie. It's really simple. So, uh, you got your balloon on there and you got this on here and tie it off, okay, and the wine is going to ferment and this is going to blow up and in 30 days you're going to have wine. You got your basic recipe down. It's just fruit, sugar, a pinch of yeast and the rest is water and give it time and in 30 days you'll have one. You need to clean everything real good. Get you some good sanitizer and some good cleaner. Um, find you a good brewing shop. That's important. Uh, a home brewer shop or something like that where you get all the right supplies because later you're going to want to make it in larger quantities and you take a higher gallon and you know more fruit. Okay. A third. About a quarter. About a quarter or a third. And then um, a lot of sugar. You're going to need a lot of sugar for that. You're going to need, uh, as your recipe gets going, you got your basic recipe, you want to refine it to your liking. So you want more sugar. Sometimes it's eight pounds of sugar for five gallons of wine. It can be as high as 14, which is going to be really sweet. But well, you need to get you a good wine making book, like I said, a measuring cup, some hoses. You're going to need this later on. Just to get started, get you a wine bottle, okay? Fill it about a quarter to a third of the way with fruit. Another cup of sugar, uh, a pinch of yeast, and fill it the rest of the way with water. Then you're going to put your balloon on there, cap it off. Now that's just a basic recipe. You can refine it and make it better further down the line by um, dissolving your sugar in the water. Um, you can dissolve your yeast in the water, make it in a bigger volume. 
you got your basic recipe. If you want some honey, get you some honey and put in there. That always adds a little more kick. And uh, that'll give you some good wine. You can use apples, you can use strawberries, and the banana wine. Father Keller said, God bless the banana wine. So we got some good banana wine, and it was good because Father Keller blessed it. Put you some white lightning in here. Sanitize everything. It's got to be clean, clean, very clean, because you kind of, uh, got to have it sterile. <coughs> so that's got to be sterilized. I really should have a stainless steel counter here, but um, for now I just make it at home for my own consumption and use, which is, we need some more. But um, I'll, get a, I'll get a glass, we'll hit it later. And uh, just fill the fruit. And chop up your fruit, okay, you can chop it up in pieces about that big, make sure it goes in there. Get your cup, pour your sugar in, about a cup of sugar, pack of yeast, just a pinch, and then fill it the rest of the way with water. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because it's going to grow up some. It's going to uh, rise. So about a little way down from the top, you know, give it some breathing room. You know, to here, on this jug, it might be to here, you know, or right up in that area. To this bottle, it might be here. So use your best uh, estimate. Later on, we'll be able to have stuff like this, which is a, uh, a water lock. Uh, you, can, you get this at the brewery store. This keeps it from breathing. It only expels air. It doesn't let air in. Then you move along to uh, caps like this. You can get a cap like that and put on there, okay? Because when it first starts going, it breathes real heavy and blows off. So you want to take a tube and put your tube on here and run this into a bucket of water <coughs> to where it can't breathe again. It can just expel gas out. Okay, so you got your fruit, got your sugar, <coughs> pinch of yeast, the rest is water. And you get five gallons of wine. This is a six gallon jar, but um, five gallon jug will probably make about Three and a half, almost four gallons of wine. And that's good stuff. Um, get you some honey. You can also add a pinch of honey or change the little recipe up any way you want. You can add things uh, later on. Um, and that's about it. It's PJ. Hi, this is PJ, and I'm at Rocco's Art Gallery, and we're going to show you how to make some wine. So we hope you like this little video and we hope you subscribe to the channel because um, we're going to have a lot more fun stuff coming on. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how to make wine. Simple and easy. First, you take some fruit. Okay, get you a jug, get a jar about that size. Put your fruit in the jar, okay? So, put all your fruit in there. Now, you fill it about a quarter of the way to a third, somewhere up in there, okay. So you fill it with fruit, okay. So you come up to about a, third, a quarter to a third of the way. Then you take your cup of sugar, your funnel, and put your funnel, and a cup of sugar. Wow, we got a cup of sugar, okay. Sugar in there. Sugar, sugar. Put that in there. Oop. Okay, you see the sugar going in. Okay. Now, for this size jug, you probably need three to four cups of sugar. Okay, that's one cup of sugar. I'm just going to show you. You put your fruit, you put your sugar, you add a pinch of yeast. You can get a regular yeast like this or you can you can get bread yeast. Uh, go get a good brewery store and get you a nice uh, uh, yeast. Okay now you just want a pinch. I like putting as little as possible. Some of them say put the whole pack 
whatever, but I put a pinch, just a pinch in the palm of your hand, and put your yeast in there, okay? Now you got your fruit, your sugar, your yeast. Now you take and fill this with water. Okay, put you some water. <coughs> This allows gases to escape and no water to get in. Okay, you put that in the, in the plug like that. Plug's real cheap, two or three dollars. This real cheap, two or three dollars. And you put it on a bigger jug, like this. This is designed for a bigger jug. Well, no, actually, I need a smaller one. But anyway, you see that'll work. So later on, you can get you some more supplies as you get more into uh, making bigger gallons, making bigger quantities, this is your recipe. You can refine the recipe as you go. If you want to add some honey, if you want to add uh, a little more sugar, a little less sugar, a little more yeast, a little less yeast, you refine your recipe and get it going. Um, okay, so say you want to add a little more honey. You just take the honey, right in there, squeeze it, put as much as you want, I would say not too much. Uh, for five gallons, I put half of this in there. So that's not too, uh, not too much. Hi, this, yeah, hi, this go. is PJ at Brockles Art Gallery. Let's start. We're gonna cut up some fruit today, okay? Let me show you how to cut this fruit. Just take the top off, cut it there. Slice it in half, big enough to fit in the top. Okay, it's probably going to take about two pounds of strawberry fruit to, to make this. So you put your strawberries in the jug, okay? Strawberries. I had some apples in there. You can use apples. You can use any kind of fresh fruit. Cut it small enough to go in here, okay? So we're going to take the fruit, put it in there. Fill it up about, uh, about a quarter of the way of the bottle. Okay, then, you know, a quarter to a third. It's, you'll learn to uh, refine your recipe as you go. Sometimes use a little more the next batch, sometimes use a little less. Okay, so we're gonna put the fruit in here, okay? We're gonna put the fruit right in there. Okay, get all your fruit in, okay? Then you're gonna put your sugar. Okay, I'm gonna use this little cup, show you. I'm gonna put some sugar in there. Sugar. Now for this size, about three or four 
probably four cups of sugar. I would use four, because you want a sweet one. You want a glass, a little less sugar. But you're gonna take at least about four cups. Okay, so we got one cup in there. We got some water, we got some of our fruit. And I'll put another cup of sugar, okay? So that's two. sugar uh, dissolve. Later on you can learn, you can make a simple syrup, okay? And you can dissolve your sugar in the water before and then just put your sugar water in there. But you're going to learn that later on in earlier steps. And then we've got some white light then because everything's got to be sanitized. Everything's got to be clean. Keep everything clean. You can't have no uh, dirty spots, anything like that. It's got to be clean. Fresh fruit goes in here, in here, in here, okay? Then find your good brewing shop. Find a little brewing company. If you want some yeast, you could use a little Red Star yeast. You could use, you know, bread yeast. You, you want to get a little better yeast, though, okay? Then you put a pinch, just a pinch. Enough in your hand, not a whole lot. That should be good. That should be plenty. Just a pinch. You don't need a whole lot. Put that in there. Later on, you'll learn to dissolve this in a little warm water and it'll flow smooth in there. But for right now, just a pinch. Okay, put that in there. Then you need to keep fresh oxygen from getting in. So I'll put a balloon on there most of the time. I didn't have a balloon, but we're just going to use a rubber glove. Okay, Cooper said don't use a condom. So we didn't do that. All right, we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to pull our rubber bands up, put it over there, put that over there, and there you go. 30 days, you're going to have wine. This will be standing up, go like that, I didn't get it all the way, but you got the general idea of it, huh? Okay. Now you want it in a cool, uh, dark cool place. You don't want it out in the sunlight. You don't want it in the window or anything. Keep it, uh, you can cover it. Put a shirt on it or something, you know, throw a towel over it. That'll keep it uh, cool. Later on, you'll learn to get these kind of items from the Bruce shop. Uh, this is a, an airlock. It lets the gas out, no gas in. And then you have your little stopper that goes in the neck of the bottle. Or you can put this on there. I got that at the brew shop. Find a good brew shop. Find you a nice wine making book. In here it'll give you all the instructions you need. Um, but just for starting, a little fruit, sugar, water, yeast. And then the airlock on top. Something to keep the air from, the air from going in. And in 30 days, you're going to have you some wine. Okay? All right. Hi, this is PJ at Rocco's Wine Gallery. And we're here today to show you how to make wine. And maybe later on, we're going to show you a little art. Okay, so we hope you like this. Hope you watch our channel, subscribe to us. And we're going to make this wine really quick, simple, and easy. Okay? We're going to... Okay, hi, this is PJ at Rocco's Art Gallery. And we're going to show you today, we're going to show you how to make some wine and maybe later on how to do a little artwork. We're going to get into that later. Um, we hope you like our channel. We hope that you're going to subscribe and hit like on this. And today is what we're going to do is make a little wine. Fast, simple, and easy. And it, it's very simple. Okay. Hope you enjoy it and we're going to get into this. So, hi, this is PJ and we're at Rocco's Art Gallery making wine and art. We're going to show you how to do this and we hope you like our video and subscribe to the channel and we're going to get the show on the road. Okay. Hi, this is PJ and we're at Rocco's Art Gallery making wine and art. We're going to show you how to do this and we hope you like our video and subscribe to the channel and we're gonna get the show on the road okay awesome fruit 
You get some fresh fruit. You get a bottle of wine. That's all you need is any bottle. This little bottle. Or even better, drink all this wine and then you got a wine bottle. Okay, then you take your fruit. You fill the bottle about a quarter, maybe a third at the most. And then it's really simple. You take your fruit, you put it in the bottle, you get some sugar, a cup of sugar, and then a pinch of yeast. Just a pinch, you don't need much, just a pinch in there or a pinch in there. Okay, and then you fill it with water the rest of the way. Then you take a balloon, stick the balloon on the top of it. 30 days, you got wine. I didn't have a balloon, so I took a, a, a glove and put it on there with a zip tie. It's really simple. So, uh, you got your balloon on there and you got this on here and tie it off. Okay, and the wine is going to ferment, and this is going to blow up, and in 30 days, you're going to have wine. You got your basic recipe down. It's just fruit, sugar, a pinch of yeast, and the rest is water. And give it time, and in 30 days, you'll have wine. You need to clean everything real good. Get you some good sanitizer and some good cleaner. Um, Find you a good brewing shop, that's important, uh, a home brewer shop or something like that, where you get all the right supplies, because later you're going to want to make it as large as PJ. Wait, start over. Hi, this is PJ, and I'm at Rocco's Art Gallery, and we're going to show you how to make some wine. So we hope you like this little video, and we hope you subscribe to the channel, because, um, we're going to have a lot more fun stuff coming on, okay? So I'm going to show you all how to make wine, simple and easy. First, you take some fruit, okay? Get you a jug, get a jar about that size. Put your fruit in the jar, okay? So put all your fruit in there. Now, you fill it about a quarter of the way to a third, somewhere up in there. So you fill it with fruit, okay? So you come up to about a, third, a quarter to a third of the way. Then you take your cup of sugar, a little funnel, and put your funnel, and a cup of sugar. Wow, you got a cup of sugar. So put your sugar in there. Put that in there. Okay, you see the sugar going in. Okay, now for this size jug, you probably need three to four cups of sugar. Okay, that's one cup of sugar. I'm just going to show you. Put your fruit, put your sugar, you add a pinch of yeast. You can get a regular yeast like this, or you can, you can get bread yeast. Uh, go get a good brewery store and get you a nice uh, uh, yeast. Okay, now you just want to pinch. I like putting as little as possible. Some of them say put the whole pack, whatever, but I put a pinch. Just pinch in the palm of your hand. Put your yeast in it and put your balloon on it. I didn't have a balloon, so I'm gonna use a rubber glove and some rubber bands. So put your rubber bands on Put your glove on or balloon you should use a balloon and then put uh pull the rubber bands up voila 30 days you got wine um so use your fresh fruit some good cleaning agents everything's got to be clean you got sanitizer and you got cleaner. uh this is what they call an airlock when you get a good brewing store you can buy more supplies this is one that comes with a little stopper, and a little stopper's got a hole in it, okay? You fill this, this allows gases to escape and no water to get in. Okay, you put that in the, in the plug like that. Plug's real cheap, two or three dollars. This real cheap, two or three dollars. And you put it on a bigger jug, like this. This is designed for a bigger jug. No, actually, 
I need my smaller one. But anyway, you see that'll work. So later on you can get you some more supplies as you get more into uh, making bigger gallons, making bigger quantities. This is your recipe. You can refine the recipe as you go. If you want to add some honey, if you want to add uh, a little more sugar, a little less sugar, a little more yeast, a little less yeast, you refine your recipe and get it going. Um, okay, so say you want to add a little more honey. You just take the honey, right in there, squeeze it, put as much as you want. I would say not too much. Uh, for five gallons, I put half of this in there. So that's not too, uh, not too much. That's hi. Okay. Hi, hey, this is PJ at Brocco's Art Gallery. Let's start. We're gonna cut up some fruit today, okay? Let me show you how to cut this fruit. Just take the top off, cut it there, slice it in half, big enough to fit in the top. Okay, probably gonna take about two pounds of strawberries well, to, to make this. So you put your strawberries in the jar, okay? Strawberries, I had some apples in there. You can use apples, you can use any kind of fresh fruit. Cut it small enough to go in here, okay? So we're gonna take the fruit, put it in there, fill it up about uh, about a quarter of the way of the bottle. Okay, then you know a quarter to a third. It, it's you'll learn to uh, refine your recipe as you go. Sometimes you use a little more the next batch. Sometimes you use a little less. Okay, so we're gonna put the fruit in here. Okay, we're gonna put the fruit right in there. Okay, you got all your fruit in. Okay, then you're gonna put your sugar. Okay, I'm going to use this little cup to show you. I'm going to put some sugar in there. Alright. Get your sugar. Now for this size, about three or four. Probably four cups of sugar. I will use four. But you want a sweet one. If you want it less, a little less sugar. But you're going to take at least about four cups. Okay. So we got one cup in there. We got some water. We got some of our fruit. Put another cup of sugar, okay? So that's two. Okay. Let that sugar uh, dissolve. Later on, you can learn, you can make a simple syrup, okay? And you can dissolve your sugar in the water before, and then just put your sugar water in there. But you're going to learn that later on in the earlier steps. And then we've got some white lightning because everything's got to be sanitized. Everything's got to be clean. Keep everything clean. You can't have no uh, dirty spots, anything like that. It's got fresh fruit goes in here and here and here. Okay, then find your good brewing shop. Find a little brewing company. If you want some yeast, you could use a little Red Star yeast. You could use, you know, bread yeast. You, you want to get a little better yeast though. Okay, then you put a pinch, just a pinch. Enough in your hand, not a whole lot, that should be good. That's a plant. Just a pinch, you don't need a whole lot. Put that in there. Later on you'll learn to dissolve this in a little warm water and it'll flow smooth in there. Okay, right now, just a pinch. Okay, you put that in there. Then you need to keep fresh oxygen from getting in. So I put a balloon on there most of the time. I didn't have a balloon, but we're just gonna use a rubber glove. Okay, Cooper said don't use a condom, so we didn't do that. All right, we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to pull our rubber bands up. Put it over there. Put that over there. And there you go. 30 days, you're going to have one. This will be standing up. Pull like that. Get it out of the way. But you got the general idea of it. Now you want it in a cool, uh, dark, cool place. You don't want it out in the sunlight. You don't want it in the window or anything. Keep it, uh, you can cover it. Put a shirt on it or something, you know, throw a towel over it. That'll keep it uh, cool. Later on, you'll learn to get these kind of items from the Bruce shop. Uh, this is a 
an airlock. It lets the gas out, no gas in, and then you have your little stopper that goes in the neck of the bottle. Or you can put this on there. I got that at the brew shop. Find a good brew shop. Find me a nice wine making book. In here it'll give you all the instructions you need. Um, but just for starting, a little fruit, sugar, water, yeast, and then the airlock on top, something to keep the air from, fresh air from going in. And then 30 days, you're going to have you some wine. Okay? All right. Thanks.